15-year-old boy is in critical condition with major head and brain injuries. Police have now arrested the four Hemet High School students in connection with the attack. KTLA Shelby Nelson is live in Hemet where she spoke to the boy's family. Shelby? Yeah, Sheriff Pedro, the intersection behind me is where it all happened. Now, Monday marks one month since 15-year-old Angel Hernandez has been hospitalized. We spoke with his mother earlier today. She says that doctors told her this morning he now has pneumonia for the second time, and they're just hoping that things get better, and she wants to see her son recover, uh, but not sure what's going to happen. I was just waiting for any hope. Doctor should say be patient, but they don't know. It's been three weeks since Lucia Hernandez has been able to talk to her 15 year old son. Angel Hernandez is in a coma at RUHS Medical Center in Moreno Valley. I sleep over here. I'm not going nowhere. I'm still going to stay with him. He needs me. Angel, the eldest of three kids, had been skateboarding home from school on February 28th along Stetson Avenue near Seven Hills Drive in Hemet. Police say four other teens saw him riding his skateboard, drove to that location. That's when an altercation happened with Angel getting pushed into traffic and hit by a car. And they were waiting for them in that corner on that street on that stoplight and three kids just... <laughs> I'm assuming they probably want to rob him because I don't know what else to think. The, the skateboard is not there. Oh, a stupid skateboard. Four teens were arrested. Angel suffering major head and brain injuries. Doctors telling mom Lucia he now has pneumonia for the second time. Both family and police say Angel is a good kid. At home, he never goes out without our permission. He wants to go to the movies. We take him. He was a good kid. Lucia says her girls constantly ask about their brother. Angel's dad also devastated. He is now the only parent working to support the family. I just want justice, too. That's all. I really want justice. I think they have to pay. Those kids have to pay. What they did is not a game. It's a real serious stuff. So serious. And Shelby, what type of charges could these teens be facing? Yeah, sure. It's a different process because all of these suspects are teenagers. They're juveniles. Uh, but Hemet police do tell me that they could be facing a number of charges, including conspiracy, as well as even attempted murder and robbery. Now, police have not been able to recover that skateboard, but they do say that lots of community members came forward, turning in their dash cam video. Police were also reviewing surveillance video that led them to those four suspects. Now, coming up a little bit later on at six, that mother is going to have a message for the parents of those teenagers.